Hello, and welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corey Phelps, your host. I'm a business and life success coach, wealth mentor, clinical hypnotherapist, breathwork facilitator, growth and expansion expert, speaker, investor, serial entrepreneur, former fitness professional, mom, dog lover, sunshine chaser, and deep down inside, I'm a self-proclaimed foodie. I started my personal development journey shortly after the birth of my daughter. I found myself in a career that I was absolutely miserable in. I was asking myself questions like, there's got to be more to life than this. I was completely unwilling to settle for a mediocre existence. So I became obsessed with creating peak performance in humans and really learning what it takes to tap into our unharnessed potential. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, business, community building, empowerment, becoming resourceful despite a lack of resources, learning how to build wealth, and it's really truly my mission now to help others discover their deeper purpose and potential, to become more conscious leaders, to take ownership of their own personal wealth, to access their untapped potential. I am here to support you in achieving more growth, more abundance, more wealth, to truly become super expanders. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, super expanders. Ah, You guys, this is going to be a super fun ride because I have someone sitting here with me who is near and dear to my heart. Literally, maybe one of the first super expander coaches that I have ever, ever met. And her name is Jessica DeRose. You may know her as Jess Glazer, but I sit here with Jessica DeRose, the most beautiful woman, the most epic coach, and someone who has truly changed my life. Oh my goodness. We're not even a minute in and I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, thank you for having me on. Uh, uh, such a pleasure, such a pleasure. And of course, when I was naming this podcast and I was really coming up with the concept, you were like literally the the first person that that came came to my mind. When we first met, I was transitioning from in person work to online work, and I was just completely lost in the sauce. And you were <laughs> such a guiding light for me, such a strong example and just so so patient and such an inspiration. So of course, here we are several years later, several shifts and pivot. So because we're we're sort of at this place of unveiling the the, the like the real true <laughs> woman that, that you have stepped into, let's talk a little bit about the the unveiling of this beautiful name. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this. You said that, you know, I formerly Jess Glazer. So for the last eight years, my Instagram account was Jess Glazer and everything that I ever did was Jess Glazer. Even as a child growing up, I never went with my full name of Jessica. I definitely did not like the identity Jesse. And so I've always been Jess and Glazer is my maiden name, despite the fact that I've been married for six years. And I, gosh, the backstory basically was a teacher full time. And I had what I call a cute side hustle where I was running an online health and coach, health and fitness coaching business, both in person and then online. And that started in 2012. And then in 2017, I left my job as a teacher to go all in on entrepreneurship. I then scaled a cute side hustle to a multiple seven figure business in 18 months, really, really fast. And was in magazines for fitness and on covers of magazines and Today Show and Fox News, you name it. And that was all under this kind of essence of Jess Glazer, this woman that I have always been. And more recently, I retired my husband about a year ago from his job a little over a year ago. And we bought a 40-foot motorhome. As you know, we were traveling the country full-time. So for the last 14 months, we lived on the road full-time. We did 27 different states. And we were both gifted with some of the most beautiful and challenging lessons and triggers and shadows and just deep work that we really got to do this past year. And over that time, over the last 14 months, I I just stepped into a completely different version of myself that was coming. 
I knew it was coming. And for about six to eight months before we hit the road, I felt it coming, but I didn't really know what it was. And I've gone through a lot of different identity shifts and, and shamanic ego deaths before from going to school for our doctorate of physical therapy. I was in fashion for a while. I then was a teacher, you know, personal trainer. I've put a lot of different identities down and stepped into new roles. And I knew it was something along those lines, but I didn't know how deep it was. And so long story short, after the past 14 months on the road, I decided to just commit fully and not just change my name to my married name or my full name, you know, Jessica, but to really embody this new energy in a way that I was going to fully cut ties energetically with old stories, old beliefs, old content, clients, you know, followers, if you will. And so a week ago today, it's, it's the end of December, a week ago today, I decided to shut down my old Instagram account, which had 22,000 followers and start a brand new account with a brand new energy behind it. You know, nothing really changed. And at the same time, everything changed. So that's where you are now. You're, you're listening to like the very beginning stages of the next evolution. You know, I can feel it, the energy just like coming through the, the power, but such a, a feminine soft touch to it in a way that is, it's so beautiful. And, you know, your last name has rose in it. So it just seems such a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful fit and flow when when you um when you announce the shift the change the the stepping in the becoming all of it i was like oh yeah so such a pretty pretty name yeah and it suits you so well so when we are thinking talking discussing this whole whole becoming what is that this the new evolution what does that feel like really for you it feels light it feels light and it's like I can breathe. So for 37 years, Jess Glazer has served me really well. She's pushed and fought. She's overcome eating disorders. She's, you know, scaled this business from zero to multiple seven figures, won every competition, fought and just pushed and carried and lifted and um, quite literally, right? Like even in my days as a bodybuilder and fighting my way to the top of the fitness industry in New York City and covers the magazines, like it just was always a, a fight. And she served me really well. And when this intuitive hit came a couple of weeks ago, so the interesting thing is three months ago, I took a new Instagram handle, which was just a slight variation of the old one. So still Jess Glazer, but a different dot and uh, underscore instead of a dot. And for three months, I haven't started the new account. And my team sort of has asked me like lovingly, what are you doing? Why are you waiting? Why are you procrastinating? What's the problem? And I would come up with these excuses. I didn't know they were excuses, but it was like, I don't know what I stand for. I don't have my new brand voice or my colors, or I'm just not sure I'm not ready. And what it was, was my sister-in-law spoke to a man who works with letters and he speaks and he works with words and the frequency and energy of words. And she was changing her last name to be mine, my maiden last name as she got married to my brother. And so he started working with her on the name Glazer and to no surprise, it's an extremely masculine name. And it's very, it's a very prove it convincing type of name. And when you shorten Jessica to Jess, it's very much like, get out of my way. Let me show you what I can do. And we started to lean into this concept of Jessica DeRose, which is who I am. And it's very light and it's, it's airy. And I think even the word rose, you know, you say it's beautiful. And to me, it's always been very feminine and I'm not a flowery girl. I don't, I don't care for flowers. They don't resonate with me. I don't own ruffles. It's just, I'm not very feminine in that way. And so I've always had a little bit of resistance to it because of that. And what's in interesting is right now, I, I did a meditation a couple of weeks ago and it came through. The new account wasn't supposed to be Jess Glazer because while the handle was different, nothing about it was actually different. And so this came through what if it was Jessica DeRose. And that felt for the first time in a long time, like I could take a deep breath. And I felt like I'm just here. I don't have to prove anything. Wow. So, yeah. so powerful. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it, it is. It's, and it's such a, such an inspiration really to me. And it's just another example of how you've been such a super expander for me and for, for so, for so many. So, which really brings me to asking you on this journey that you've been on in entrepreneurship. When you think of super expanders, how we've discussed it, you know, before we hit record, we were in a, a deep conversation about really what a super expander is and what it means. Who in your life 
like what comes up when you start thinking of super expanders? Is there a story that feels powerful, one that you feel like you'd like to share with us? Yeah. You know, I have so many. When you asked me before we hit record, like my mom popped up immediately. She's a kidney transplant recipient. She's just such a beast overcoming cancer, like just such an expander, right? In the most loving way. She seemed to do it all. She wears all the hats. And I've actually had a lot of students as well as a teacher that were super expanders for me because they just taught me so much about compassion and love and little fighters, right? But the first name that popped into my head when you said, you know, who is a super expander for you? And I know you know who she is and she's a mutual friend and a lot of your listeners and probably probably know who she is, but Lori Harder, man. Lori Harder just has been eight years. She and Chris have been mentors of mine. And for eight years, I've watched them just expand and evolve into the next version of themselves. And they have consistently for eight years been a guiding light for me of what is possible. And they're both a couple years older than me. They're a couple steps ahead of me. And just watching Lori go from someone who didn't, I don't want to quote this, but I'm not sure if she graduated high school. I know she didn't go to college, but to watch her go from personal trainer to building the online fitness business and being super successful there and hosting events and personal development and stepping into like more business coaching and now, you know, stepping into her role as a founder with light pink and all of these different evolutions. And then still just being her goofy self, like years and years ago, she used to show up every single day unapologetically in a robe on Facebook and do a Facebook live every morning in a robe with no makeup and coffee. I'm talking like seven years ago. And to just watch her do that when I, at the time was a teacher, I was working as a phys ed teacher and a personal trainer on nights and weekends to make ends meet, even bartending. And my own evolution then of, of building the online business and stepping into playing around with network marketing and sucking at things and then learning how to get better at them and then hosting events and retreats and like the evolution that I've gone through. I just, I, she's such an expander for me. And it was so easy for me to write a check to be a part of her company and to be one of the women for her fully female funded, female founded company like Pink. It was like, take my money. I fully, I support everything you do. And and I want to be a part of the mission of hold the door, right? Because she's just always held, she's always held the door, even when she didn't know who I was. She had no idea I existed, but she was holding the door. So Lori, love her. Uh, yeah, so I, I love Lori too. She's such a powerhouse woman. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, I mean, actually both of you in that capacity have been expanders for me in that way, because, you know, we were just discussing how I've recently made some rather big investments in companies that I really don't think that I would have had the courage to do if I hadn't seen you investing in Light Pink, if I hadn't been go, following along Lori's journey, learning about it. She teaches so much, like every step of the way is behind the curtains, showing, teaching, sharing what it's like, all of it. And really gave me a massive push to, to take a risk to invest in female led companies, female funded, only run companies. And it's like such an exciting time. And it's so cool to watch both of you and learn from, from both of you. Thank you. Yeah. And Chris too, I can't leave him out. He is equally, he pushes me more than she does, but yeah, they just have been the most incredible, you know, friends and mentors and expanders for Mike and I both. Absolutely. They're like the dynamic duo that balances each other out, right? Yeah, (laughs) seriously. Such powerhouses. My goodness. Have you ever felt stuck? Like something is blocking you from reaching your full potential. You feel like if only you had access to the tools to unlock your deeper purpose and potential, if you could surround yourself with a community of like-minded people on a similar growth journey, you're just ready to kick fear, doubts, imposter syndrome to the curb. Enter the Energetic Society, your premium membership to amplify and unlock your deeper purpose. The Energetic Society is a donation-based membership filled with healing modalities to help you build more wealth and more freedom inside your life, inside your business, all for the price you choose to pay. Inside the Energetic Society, you get to have it all. Wealth, impact, success, connection, fulfillment. And all you have to do is text 202-918-3235. Again, text 
202-918-3235. Send us the word wealth and you will receive the link to join the donation-based membership of the Energetic Society straight to your cell phone today. So do they know that they're super expanders for you? I would, I would guess, I definitely have told them many, many, many times how much they've changed my life and how grateful I am for both of them. So I think that they would have an inkling, but um, they both are just so humble that I'm not sure that they would think like, oh, she thinks of us in that capacity. But I, I think they have an idea. <laughs> well, we'll of course be sharing this, this podcast with them so that they know. But it's funny, <laughs> as, a, as I've been going along recording these episodes, that's a question that I've been asking because when you come to think of it, sometimes people, they don't know. Mm-hmm. So I've been definitely challenging those that, that don't, that haven't shared that story with their super expanders to definitely tell them because I feel like there's such a a gift in giving back to someone who has inspired you Mm -hmm. in a way that's pushed you, caused you to grow. Cause oftentimes, you know, people don't know. And what a massive gift to know that just by showing up and doing the thing that you were meant to do has created such a massive ripple effect for, for others. And really it just continues out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So let's just fast forward a little bit here and put ourselves out this time next year. Mm -hmm. I would love to know what it is that you would like to create, but not really in the same kind of vision that we're talking about detailed goals. Like, how do you want to feel this time next year? Yeah. Immediately, the word that comes up is grounded. So the last 14 months on the road, it was the complete opposite. It could not have been further from grounded. It was really difficult for me to ever feel grounded. And it had to come to a place where I almost was forced to surrender to myself to fight this feeling of not feeling grounded and not having my rituals or routines or environment or community. And it took me months. I mean, we were on the road for 14 months. I was probably like nine months in when I finally realized, oh, this is a season of flying. And when you're flying, you can't be grounded. So the word that comes up for me is just grounded. That's the feeling. That's the feeling that I crave right now. That's the feeling that I desire. It's in all ways grounded in my health and my rituals and my friendships, my community, my my energy, my central nervous system, like just grounded. Yeah. So good. Do you ever actually do the grounding exercises where, you know, you go outside and you put your feet in the in in the ground yeah it's so powerful and you're right there basically in such a like magical Mm -hmm. the magical land of grounding essentially yeah with all the crystals and all the mountains and it's just it's wonderful and I think that's one of the reasons why this area for both of us felt so good um before we were recording we were talking and I said We did 27 different states that's slept in and spent time in, but we obviously drove through more than 27 and only two of the 27 felt good for both Mike and I in our bodies. Like only two of them felt like home, felt grounded, felt calm, safe, connected. And Arizona was one of them. Oh, what was the other one? Idaho. I was going to guess that. I remember seeing No, I was going to guess because I remembered seeing your pictures or your posts when you were there and you looked like you just absolutely were glowing and that you loved it, right? I mean, it was in the streams and the rocks and the water and just like the absolute pure, pristine beauty. It was magic and probably the biggest surprise to both of us because I had never thought about Idaho or considered it or thought that it would feel the way that it did or I didn't even know it had what it had to offer. And um, we actually were only supposed to be there for two nights. It was a drive through. We weren't really going to stay. And we ended up canceling all of our plans, didn't even get our money back. And we stayed for three weeks. We absolutely fell in love with it. But to be clear, we were nowhere near Boise. Like we were not near the city at all. Um, We were in Ketchum, Stanley, the Sawtooth Mountains. And it was absolutely a vibrational match for both of us. We were looking to buy land. Uh, We 100% will have a vacation home there one day, mark my word. It was just incredible. And the only other place, but I can't speak for the entire state. So many were beautiful, right? Like Montana was gorgeous and all the national parks, glacier, like you can't not feel grounded. But the other place that really did 
pull me in. And I cried every single day we were there. Uh, gratitiers, as, as I always say, the rainforest, the Pacific Northwest. Oh my gosh. The whole rainforest was unlike anything I've ever experienced. Oh, wow. So it's such a gift that you actually had the time to really actually feel your preferences, to have the Mm -hmm. freedom to go explore, to have the time to connect and decide whether this place is for you or not, which is, I mean, how many people actually end up having that opportunity? Yeah, I know. If it wasn't for our digital business, we wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have, Mike wouldn't, he had a corporate job in New York City, you know, going to the office every single day. So when I think about what this business does and what it does for people and clients of ours that have created their own types of freedom, whether that's freedom of the mind, freedom financially, freedom of the career, freedom of location, it really is incredible in those moments. So for the listener, if you do run a business and you have those moments where you're like, I don't feel like posting because we've all felt it, right? You're like, I don't feel like posting or, oh, so annoying. I have to write an email or oh, I have another Zoom call. It's like, can you change the context for a moment? Because the gift that we have, this opportunity to spread global impact from our phone and to provide yourself the opportunity to truly live, like truly live and get to explore and travel and meet the coolest people. People ask us all the time, what was our favorite part about the 14 months? And we call it the in-between. It was the in between. It was it was not the city that you would normally fly to and rent a car and like stay in the hour vicinity of the city. It was the in between little tiny towns of thirty eight people where we'd eat at a restaurant that was like you know a hundred years family owned, and have conversations with people that we never would have crossed paths with. It was the in between. It was so cool. It was so cool. This country is incredible. I feel like there's a book bubbling right there, <laughs> and a book title. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you I, I i don't know but <laughs> i felt that yeah. i felt that yeah. and you know it's really we it's like a, i guess like a common conversation that happens in terms of like you're robbing people by not mm-hmm. showing up and sharing but i feel like the more i have conversations with you with other entrepreneurs the real depth of that is driven home because there's things that we say, I feel like that's, if you're in the coaching industry, it starts to be almost like kind of cliche and you can say things without like feeling the meaning of them. Mm. But that is something I feel like is just continuously, the depth of that meaning is being driven home all the time. A, the magic is that you have a talent that someone else will pay you for Mm -hmm. and that in that you deserve to be compensated for it. And it's this whole energetic loop that is just causing everyone to expand and really actually causing the the collective to grow, to become better. And that really is changing the world. Yeah, it is. And that's the, that's the point. That's the beautiful thing. And so I love it. And it's so funny when you said that, I was thinking of things in my head. I'm like, what do we all say in the industry that kind of goes in one ear out the other or just kind of comes out of our mouth without feeling it? And so many things came up. <laughs> yeah, selling is serving, which yeah. you can say and let it slide off your tongue and yeah. almost feel, it could almost feel like you're disingenuous when you're mm-hmm. saying it, but it truly is. It's serving both parties, right? It's this energetic, like you're actually helping someone have a transformation, learn something, you're sharing your information or your talent or your gift or whatever it is. And there's like a real human behind it that you're not, I mean, we all, right? We can Google it. We say that too. It's all Googleable, but yeah. the magic is in the person who's delivering it to you because they have a certain something of how they deliver it. And that's, yeah. there's so much power in that. Yeah. And different lived experience, right? It's the only, it's the unique experience and perspective that they have. So yeah, riches and niches. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I love it. And I love that the work that you do really enables so many people to have the opportunity to truly live their lives and not be stuck and chained to a nine to five job if that's not what they so choose and decide that that's what they want to do with their life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's important too, because there's been a mass shift of everyone feeling like they have to be an entrepreneur or they need to be a digital coach because that's what's trending or it seems like that's what everybody's doing. But at the end of the day, 
Some people love the security and safety of having a nine to five job. Some people thrive on the idea of having a boss telling them what to do. So also know that if you're listening to the podcast and you're like, I don't really want to do it. You don't have to, you don't have to, because it's trendy. You don't have to, because you know, aunt Becky is doing it or your neighbor, Jill or whatever. Like you don't, you don't have to build a business. If you don't want to, you don't have to put yourself out on social media and lay all of your dirty laundry out. Like you don't have to, it's a choice. Absolutely. And we need the people who work those nine to five jobs yeah. because they contribute to things that we all enjoy and need in our lives. So everyone's, everyone's jobs and roles are individually and uniquely important, whatever mm-hmm. they happen to be. Yeah, I love that. So for all the listeners listening in, dying to know how to find you, where to find you, Let's let's tell them. Yeah. Share. So I hang out on Instagram most, and you can find me there at I am Jessica DeRose. And I'd love to talk to you. So slide into my DMs, say hi, let me know you listen to the episode, and we can start a conversation. Beautiful. I love it so yeah. much. We didn't even share. So we're, let's talk a little bit before we tie it in a bow about the digital business revolution. You want to share a little bit of insight? For the people that are listening, they're curious if they don't really, really know the whole story there. Yeah. So digital business evolution is just such a fitting name as, as I'm constantly evolving and we all are. Digital business evolution is the company that I own. It's basically the umbrella that houses all of our coaching programs, whether that's a one week or three day masterclass, or it's a 12 week program or a six month mastermind. So DBE, as we call it, uh, houses all of our programs as well as our coaches. So we have a coaching staff of 10. We have an accountant on staff, a lawyer, a mindset coach, you name it, you get everybody when you come into our world. And, um, that's basically where all of our programs live. And so our our signature program that we're most known for is called Empower. And that's our 12-week group coaching program that helps people build courses. So if you're looking to build a digital course or some sort of an evergreen coaching program, Empower would be the best fit for you. We're on our 14th round right now, which is pretty crazy. And um, it's just something I'm so proud of. Our Empower students have created over $11 million in revenue in the last two and a half years. They've Empower has created eight millionaires from this from graduates and um, built a school in Ghana, Africa, with the money that we've donated from other Empower students that have come through. So, very very cool program. Uh, but DBE is a play on words as well because the word evolution has a plus sign next to the E. Because as a teacher, I recognized that in school we can get an A, B, C, D, or an F, but they skip the letter E, and I believe that is because they saved it for entrepreneurs because entrepreneurs deserve their own grade. Ah, I love that. (laughs) (laughs) And yes, yes, we do. An E plus, absolutely, for sure. (laughs) Amazing. You guys, if you are not following Jessica DeRose, please (laughs) stop what you're doing right now and go follow her. So much value, so much impact, and just a beautiful human. So grateful for you. Thank you for having me on. Well, so grateful. Thank you. If you like what you heard, stop, drop, and leave a five-star review and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. As always, the best way that you can thank our amazing guests is to share your biggest takeaway and then tag us on social media. 